Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with my review of Kashiryu O Five Nights. This is the combined box set that features Tiramigo, Aki Rosen Triken, Tigerlands, and Mill Needle, the five main mecha of the Rear Soldier Rangers, or Dino Fury as they're known in America now. This review fragment will focus specifically on Tiramigo and the Kishiryu O One Night configuration. I'm just showing the rest off for size comparison at this point. Stay tuned for the next couple of reviews to see the actual reviews for the other four Zords or Mecha. So, moving them off to one side. Here we have Kishiryu Tiramigo, the main mecha of the Red Ranger of the Rear Soldier team and the main mecha and core of the Rear Soldier team as a whole. As you can see, it's a gigantic disproportionate Tyrannosaurus Rex with cannons coming off of his shoulders, drills coming off of his uh, cannons and a couple of turrets on his back. The, yeah. Shoulder cannons here are also the robot arms, so you can reposition them as you wish. Same with the drills on the shoulders here. And the turrets on the back can also be tilted up and down to your liking. Everything in the Rear Soldier Deact Mecha line has these modular pegs for reassembly because of the way the gimmick works for combinations. The t rex head opens. And the Rear Soldier, Rear Soul Key can be closed like so to form the T-Rex head shape and then open with a flick of a button. We'll get more into the Rear Soul later. So, first, the yeah, Tiramigo Mecha can be reconfigured into a Fortress combination. So, take this black button on the underside and fold the legs all the way forward. They'll lock into place on their own ones they're fully in position. Then have it pointing down with a thing, the tail facing forwards. Move these mini gun pieces one spot up on the spine to make space for future combinations. And slot the rear saw in up top here. And here we have Kishiryu Tiramigo in Fortress Mode. I'll get back to the Fortress Mode in future reviews because the blue, pink, green and black mecha can also combine onto it to make it bigger and more impressive. So to transform from Fortress Mode into Kishiryu O One Knife Red Mode, first remove the tail and the guns. Leave the drills where they are because they'll be in the same position in robot mode. Then press this black button again to unlock the leg and bring them all the way down like so. Again they'll lock into place once being oriented. Stand it up. Rotate diagonally at the midsection here to make the torso the right way around. Plug the tail onto the back like so. Rotate with the robot arms down so the drills become shoulder pylons. Then flip the rear all around and clip it into the neck like so. And here we have Kishiryu O One Knight in Red Ranger configuration. Just plug the guns onto the forearms here to complete the look and try not to pop the arm ratchets off while you're doing this. Because of the quad peg and quad socket configuration, it can be pretty tricky to realign things properly. There we go. So this is the primary you know, warrior mode of Tiramigo. 
There are other combinations that you can make with the modular structure of this set, but I'll just keep it simple for simplicity's sake with this review. You'll have to watch MGO316's videos to see more complex structures for this thing. Here are the other four main mecha again for size comparison. Along with Transformers Animated Shockwave from my previous video. Articulation is minimal as usual for a Sentai Mecha, ratchet at shoulders only. I mean, technically the legs can move a little for transformation if you unlock the yeah, spring button, but this is all we've got. So, that concludes the Tiramigo review. Join me next time when I review Anki Rose and Triken. Until then, till all are one, and may the power protect you, always.